is Rachel Mamiafua Fumilola Garten, and my stage name is Lola Ray. I decided to call myself Lola Ray because it was a mixture of my English name, Rachel, and my Nigerian name, Fumilola. I am Ghanaian, Nigerian, and British. I was born and raised in Nigeria. I lived there for 16 years. Then I moved to Ghana to school there for a year and a half, and then I moved to England. I discovered I could sing when I got forced to go on a Britain's Got Talent. Me and my group called Mystical, we were dared to go on there. And my choreographer had heard me singing in the bathroom. He was like, oh, do you know you can sing? Like, we should just go on the program. And I listened to him, which was a very stupid thing to do if you're going on national TV to five million people. And I did it. And the first time I ever sung in public was in front of 5,000 people and Simon Cow. Watch My Tingo is my debut single. Um, my next single is going to be called Beat My Drum. I'm hoping to one day bring out an album. I'm working on a collective of music, so we'll see what happens with it. I would say my music is versatile. I know everyone says that, but I really do think it is because I started off singing jazz. That's when I got signed to Simon Cowell. I was signed as a jazz artist. And then I went back to my African roots and went to Afro pop. So what you guys have heard is Afro pop. But I can definitely say there's going to be a lot more soulful stuff and jazzy stuff to come. My musical influences are Beyonce. I love her in terms of her stage presence and her performance and obviously her vocals, they're amazing. I love Tiwa Savage. I love what she did for the African females out there. She really opened up a market, in my opinion, that a lot of people didn't think of doing. I love Effia. Obviously she's Ghanaian and she is amazing in terms of her vocals. Amy Winehouse, the late Amy Winehouse, she was incredible as well. And Wizkid. Um, in terms of African artists and producers, I would love to work with Gospel. He's a Nigerian producer. He is really talented. I'd love to work with Burna Boy. I think that's one of my main people I love to work with. And Tiwa Savage as well, because there's not a lot of females that collaborate. But hopefully one day we'll pray on that. Outside of African music, I would like to work with a producer called Forty. He um, produces all of Drake's songs, but he's known for a lot more underground stuff that I listen to. Also, is Beyonce a bit too ambitious? I don't know. Maybe one day. You never know. God's will. I was in Ice Prince's More video. He saw me at one of his shows. I got introduced to him through his cousin. And I got a phone call two days later saying, do I want to be the main love interest in his music video? And I said, I am not a video girl, I am an artist. But after much persuasion from my manager and his manager, we decided that we'll do it, but we'll make sure I look like a wife and not a hoochie mama. Outside of studio writing and music, I definitely do a lot of dancing because that's what my performance stage presence is all about. I also do a lot of fashion. I sew, I went to Central St. Martin's for fashion. So I do a lot of sewing. If you like to keep up with me and be updated with what I'm doing, what I'm about, feel free to at me on Twitter at Lola Ray Music, Instagram Lola Ray Music, and Facebook Lola Ray Music. Hi, my name is Lola Ray, and you're watching Channel O. Keep it locked.